The time before dusk is always the hardest. When the light fades and the darkness descends. Slowly, inevitably, like a premonition. It's amazing how much more you see when the light has been banished. The true sense of things, of people. Miss Holden? Laura Holden? Card games down the hall. Well, perhaps I misunderstood your associates. Do I look like I have an associate, pal? Tomasi. Joe Tomasi. And I didn't come here to spend my money on cards. You definitely have the wrong girl. I want you to follow my wife. Go home, Mr. Tomasi. And on the way, buy your wife some flowers. Go tell her you love her. I hear women like that sort of thing. I want to make sure that the right person is doing the telling. Are you with me? Ken Green, up front. Any idea where I might find her? Do you know the Kitty Cat Club? skies my love to the dark and endless sky fancy meeting a fine upstanding gentleman like yourself in a dive like this who's doing your hair now this isn't a social visit speak for yourself oh hey i forgot that's what you do best you gonna play nice Name the game. Truth or dare. Try me. Forget the girl and walk away now. Oh, you want me all to yourself, babe, like old times. Looks like the old times are pretty new, Johnny. Hey, I'm a respectable businessman. Enjoying a quiet drink after work. You forget. I know what sort of business you're into. Hey, you got me all wrong, officer. I'm one of the good guys now. My own construction company and all. I might even get a chance at building a new football stadium if I play my cards right. Funny. I always thought you were better at tearing things down. You just can't handle the fact you're not in the spotlight anymore, can you, Laura? You had your chance to shine, babe, but you just couldn't handle it. Went supernova on us. Ended up no better than a discarded redhead. Better to have burnt brightly than to have fought in the gutter all my life. Come on, mate, admit it. You miss me. My aim's still pretty good. You used to sing for me once, babe, remember? You've abandoned me Love don't live here anymore Just a vacancy Love don't live here anymore Is this where I report a missing person? Mrs Tomasi. Excuse me? This is highly inappropriate, but I have to ask you to leave. I think you have me confused with somebody else. I'm bound by certain confidentialities, Mrs Tomasi. I shouldn't even be seen talking to you. The name's Town. And I can assure you my marital status is still stamped pending. I need a drink. Do you want one? You're going to help me. What did you say your name was again? Town. 
Councillor Rebecca Town. I'm the Head of Planning and Development, Perth City Council. I hear you're quite the songbird. Everybody should have a passion in life, don't you think, Miss Holden? Something they love above all else. Do you see? No. You should try it sometime. Very intoxicating. So, you approve all the major constructions in the city? My committee does, yes. The new football stadium? Over my dead body. Who did you say was missing again? My fiancé. Jonathan Balcone. Want to tell me who you really are? You want to tell me how you got in here? Your wife was kind enough to show me through, except you don't have a wife, do you? Let's just say that I'm a lobbyist. Long lunches at the Burke and Grill? Uh, I don't particularly enjoy coalfish. More of a carnivore, then? Sure. Anything that bleeds. Is that what happened to Johnny? Well, I'm not familiar with his particular dining habits. Only his taste in women. Uh, well, on the subject, I have to bow to your obvious expertise. She's thinking about going to the police. Well, he is a most disagreeable character. I don't think she's after a reference. But I suggest that going to the police is not in Miss Towns or your best interest. What do you usually charge for such penetrating insight? How much do you value your freedom? Or haven't you learned anything the last time around? Oh, you better think about it, Miss Holden. Because that was quite a scene that you put on the other night. Yeah, two former lovers quarrelling so publicly. Perhaps you were jealous? Yeah, you couldn't stand to see your precious Johnny in the arms of another woman. You followed him home, confronted him, and then you flew into a rage of passion. And that is a tragic end for our poor little Johnny. You didn't say you dabbled as a fiction writer as well, Mr. Tomasi. Not a hard story to sell for a woman like you. What would you know about a woman like me? The ink never dries, Miss Holden. You know that. What's in it for me? A slice of the largest construction project in the last 20 years, my dear. Tax free. Just a vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. The only honest woman in the whole damn city. Telling it like it is for a lousy 20 bucks an hour. But no one wants to hear the truth anymore. They want their gleaming monstrosities built with soulless concrete and someone else's guilt. I don't have that kind of luxury anymore. It don't live here. You're making a wise decision. So you think she'll actually go through? I think you'll get to build your football stadium after all, Mr. Falcone. Mm -hmm.